Hi everyone, this is Felicia with FP Handmade and I'm coming at you with a craft haul video. I have some items that I purchased from Little Birdie, from Frank Garcia, and one item that I purchased from Spellbinders. So let's get started. So from Spellbinders, I picked up this glaze and glue. Um, I saw one a crafter here on YouTube use this and I thought I'd try it. It um, adds gloss and dimension to all your paper crafting and mixed media projects. So small bottle, hopefully this will be awesome stuff and I'll let you know. Then from Little Birdie, I picked up several little items. They have such cute stickers and florals there. So I picked up these super cute little Christmas embellishments, the little reindeer. And uh, I just thought they were adorable and will look really cute on cards later on this year. And then I picked up these florals here. Super pretty colors, very vibrant. Really like those colors. And then this one here. It's an eight piece set and has the little butterflies there kind of sitting on some uh, faux like branches. Really cute. I picked up this flower set and this is actually a cluster. Clusters of flowers, I think it's um, how many pieces here? Five pieces. So one, two, three, four, five. So two individual ones and then a clusters of the other ones. I picked up these embellishments. These are self-adhesive. Um, not a really big fan of these in person. They have a lot of glitter on them, um, which does add, you know, sparkle, but not my favorite. Picked up these embellishments for graduation. I have a card to make, hopefully today. I'll share that with you in another video. It's uh, for a, a eighth grade graduation. <laughs> How cute is that? And then I picked up these stamp sets. This one is, a, I think it's a 11 pieces and it's called Postal Special. So I thought these were nice. You could put on um, cards to kind of add a little different. And it says Paris, hair mail. I like the star with the wavy line. Really cute. This sweet little stamp set is so cute with this floral and then this leaf. I really like the uh, leaf branch there. And this little set, and it's called uh, Chirpy Garden with the two little love birds, the uh, cute little birds there, and you can have a sentiment stamped here on that banner, but love the leaves and the individual flowers. And then I picked up this Sunshine and Lemonade um, four by six um, cards, and it's 12 designs, you get two of each. And these are just really awesome when you wanna make a simple card really quick. And I'll share with you what they look like. So you have Hello Sunshine, You are my sunshine on a cloudy day. How cute is that? Fun in the sun. We have sending sunshine, sending you sunshine. You are my sunshine. And this one where you can stamp your own greeting or saying, really like that. When life hands you lemon, make lemonade. Sending loves and hug. Sweet as sunshine, this is a really pretty color combination. And sweet as lemonade. And then last but not least, a little toucan of my appreciation. How is that? Cute is that? Really cute. So that's from Little Birdies. Then I picked up some items from 49th and Market. I picked up the Say It In Crystals 48 piece set. This is from the Majestic line. Super pretty colors, green, white. And then this one, the Julie Nutting set, says Say It In Crystals 48 piece. And this is kind of like, I don't know, it just kind of remind me of blue jeans for some reason. Really love this aqua color and this really soft pink. And then I picked up these, um, 54 mix and match acrylic um, acetate pieces from uh, Strawberry Lane Acetate Leaves. Let's take a look at how these look. So Frank Garcia had a sell on Craft um, World Craft Scrapbooking Day and it was 25% off. 
So I was able to get these at a really awesome price. So, oh man, these are really pretty. Yes, the tiny butterflies, but look at these pieces here. Hope I'm in camera here. Super pretty and a lot. Some of them are really clear and some of them have more color. Just a lot of really pretty acetate pieces here. I don't wanna lose any of those. Let's set that aside. And then I picked up the um, 40, uh, 54 mix and match pieces. This is the Tidal Wave acetate leaves. So let's take a look at these together real quick. I just love ordering from Frank Garcia because they ship extremely fast. And they're awesome there. And these have a lot of bits in it. And oh, these are so pretty. Look at that. I love the different colors. And so many pieces. You got butterflies all over the place. Super pretty. Can't wait to play with those. I don't think I have anything like this in my stash. So look forward to playing with those. And then I picked up these uh, the Tidal Wave Laser Cut Elements. It's four sheets, about 75 elements, sorted botanical leaves and butterflies. And let's see what this looks like. If I can open it up here. And let's see, oh, these are really pretty too. And they're already cut for you. They're laser cut. I don't know what that means, but really pretty. Just ready to go on any of your projects. Um, Super dainty, some of them are. As you can see here. Look at just really pretty. Okay, so those are the laser cut pieces. And so now to the paper. So I always have paper. And this is the 6x6 collection of vintage artistry in teal. Uh, it's four each uh, designs, double sided, and it's a total of 20. So let's take a look at these real quick. So I think this is the front. So super pretty. I like that they're loose. Beautiful. And then you, it's kind of like the paper that I showed in a, another D stash with the saturated back or watercolored look. Really pretty. Look at that. Just ready to make a card. Very beautiful. And this design, the kind of cloudy, wispy look on the back. Oh, it's just really pretty. And then on the back is that color. And then you have some items that you can fussy cut. My fussy cutting has not been very good lately. So I think I can get around the ones that are square, but the butterflies, I'm not sure about them. So you get four sheets of that. So that's awesome. And then I purchased the um, vintage artistry color lilac. So let's look at those real quick. Let's see. So we have the lilac six by six, and this is 16 double sided pattern papers. They have um, three by four double sided collection papers. Um, no, so three, I don't know. Just look at it here. You can read it. Let's look. <laughs> really sweet colors. Oh, that's pretty. Wow, look at that. Just really gorgeous paper. And these are the ones that you can fussy cut. Maybe able to fussy cut some of those out. So really abstract and kind of watercolor, but then some actual um, floral elements there. Really pretty, and then the oh, that's the same back that I showed you earlier. Just super pretty designs. Um, I am really loving 49th and Market's paper. 
And then I picked up the uh, six by six uh, diamond collection uh, by Prima. I, I shown uh, some of my Mother's Day cards, including this, included this pr um, paper line, and I really do love it. I won't show you the whole paper pad, but you can see, get a gist of it. Here you got some um, tags that you can cut out and so on. So super pretty paper. And then I bought some loose paper. So this is from the uh, Inspire Collection. It's not the Diamond Collection. I think I called it the Diamond. It's the Inspire Collection by Frank Garcia. So super pretty. Look at the flip side of that. It's gorgeous. I had to pick up some more because I used some of it in my Mother's Day cards that I made for someone. And these are the tags. I didn't have this one. Super pretty. Look at the flip side. Those florals are adorable. And then this one is just screaming for a scrapbook layout. But I don't do scrapbooking, so I'll just use it in my card making. <laughs> and then the flip side of those pretty florals. And let's see. And then this is the Golden Coast collection um, by Prima. Frank Garcia. Really pretty. I love the, I'm in California, so I love that map of California there. And that really pretty plant. Super pretty. Love the seashell down here with the florals. And then this is the Capri collection. I just got one sheet of this, I think. I really like this and that one. This one too. And then this is the flip side. And then I bought some more uh, 12 by 12 pieces of the vintage artistry. And this one is called Admit One. And you have a really pretty flip side. And then this is the Spectrum Sherbet Collection. And this is Brumbleberry. So pretty. And that's the flip side. Another Brumbleberry. And this is Strawberry Mango. Super pretty. And then love this uh, flip side. They cut out different elements to use. And then here is the Cotton Candy. I've showed this before, I believe. Really pretty. And then that's the flip side. And then the classic uh, Blue Moon. This is still from the uh, Spectrum Sherbert collection. And I've showed this one on my channel before. I just got a couple of additional sheets. And then this one is the um, Connection. It's called Connection from the um, Artistry Essentials. Super pretty. I did make a card from this. I showed it on my channel before, but I just thought I'd show it to you so you can see a card that I made out of this. And this was, I think I cut it from this section down here. Super pretty. And then on the back there. And then we have, this one is the, I think that says Celestial. Really pretty on the back. And this one is the Mystique. Let's see, the back is really pretty. And this one is the uh, Vintage Artistry Blush and Radiant. Really love this. Really low. And this is the journal card. So you can cut these out, use them. This is really pretty. So it's that one. And then the really pretty on the back. And look how stunning this is. This is from the Botanical Collection. It's called Flutterology. <laughs> look at that butterfly or moth. So... <laughs> Super pretty and just a really light design on the back, kind of grid marks. And look at this one. This one's called Records. A lot of uh, writing. And then the flip side, super light. And then this one is called Natural History. This is just gorgeous. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Flip it over. And then this one is the... Um, Rainforest. I used this in a card. I think I shared um, online here. So I wanted another piece. I use uh, glossy 
accents on this little moth here, which really made it pop. And then this fluttering butterflies. And then this one is called classified. <laughs> so pretty. And then this one is called tattered ring wings. Super pretty. And really vibrant color on the back. So that is my craft haul I want to share with you. More paper. I'm so glad that I don't live in the area of Frank Garcia studio. It's a little far for me because I think this stack would be in triple if I was actually there. So thank you guys for watching. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've um, been a subscriber, been around for a while, I appreciate you supporting my channel and you all have a great day. Thank you.